Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video we're going to continue looking at absolute value and how it can affect an equation. So let's go ahead and look at this equation that we have here. Where What this says is we want to know the absolute value of x is 5, and what we want to think about is what can this number here x be so that the absolute value of it is 5. Remember, absolute value just means how far it's a number is from 0. So if I know that the absolute value of that number is 5, that's really telling me that on the number line, I'll draw the number line out so we can see it, I know that I'm looking at 0. I know that whatever number x is, it is 5 numbers away from 0. Well, I think hopefully we can realize that 5 is definitely going to be what x is, right? Because when x is 5, x is 5 units or numbers away from 0. So x can be 5, but x can also be negative 5. So negative 5 is also 5 units away from 0, but it's 5 units away from 0 in the other direction. So that's why for a problem like this, we would say that x equals positive 5 and negative 5. You can either write it as plus or minus 5, which is what I wrote here, or you could write that x equals 5 and x equals negative 5. That's how we want to approach those problems. So let's try another one. Let's look at the absolute value of x and it equals 133. So again, we want to think about what number could x be so that its absolute value is 133. Again, we're thinking of the number or numbers that are 133 units from 0. And I hopefully we're starting to see this pattern here that x could either be plus or minus 133. Or if you want to write it out the other way, we could say that x is 133 and x is negative 133. All right, guys, it's that math magician. I'll see you on the next video.